think it's 6.1, uh, it'll end up being part one, but end behaviors of rational functions. Okay, so uh, again, rational functions, we're talking about uh, expressions that are fractions with crazy variables in them. We're going to talk about end behavior. So end behavior, uh, how the problem is going to look, it's always going to say f of x uh, is going to go to blank as x goes to negative infinity, and it'll say f of x goes to blank as x goes to positive infinity. So what that means is uh, when I have a graph here, if I were to think about a graph uh, and graphing all these crazy uh, expressions, as x increases to infinity, is f of x, or if you want to think about it as y, is that going to go up to infinity or does it go down to negative infinity, right? So that would be the answer for f of x goes to as x goes to infinity, right? Opposite for f of x goes to what as x goes to negative infinity. So when this goes to negative infinity, the end behavior, is that going to go positive uh, y values or negative y values to infinity, okay? Uh, so we're going to talk about how that uh, works out here, okay? So uh, let's look at example one. 8x to the third, excuse me, negative 8x to the third, minus 3x plus 4 over 2x squared minus 9. Now, if you're thinking uh, your first step should be to simplify, uh, that's a good thought. It's good that you're thinking that. But um, with finding end behaviors, you don't need any of that. The only thing you need to focus on is the leading term. Okay? So what the leading term is, the term with the biggest exponent, right, always going to be in the lead, and the term with the biggest exponent in the denominator, okay? The rest of this stuff doesn't matter. I don't care what's there, okay? Because when in terms of going to infinity or negative infinity, the rest of the stuff won't matter. It's going to be the biggest exponents that matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to just write out negative 8x to the third over 2x squared, okay? We're going to do this every time, and we're going to simplify this, okay? Uh, for part one, it's going to always end up that there's going to be an x in the numerator. We'll see what happens in part two when that doesn't happen. So in this case, uh, we'll simplify this. x squared is going to cancel out x squared. So two x's cancel out two x's. So I get negative 8x over 2. I can simplify it again. If I simplify my coefficients, negative 8 over 2, that's going to be negative 4x. Okay, you can think about it as over 1 if you want. Not important, okay? Now, most of you can tell me what negative 4x looks like. If I were to ask you to graph negative 4x, right? I'd have a graph, and I'd have a point there, and it would come something like this, right? So, in other words, as I go towards infinity with my x value, my y value, or my f of x, goes to negative infinity. That's what I'm talking about, end behavior. Same thing, if I go to negative infinity on the x value, my f of x goes to positive infinity, okay? The reason that we're going to, uh, the thing we're going to be looking at is, is this number positive, and what's the exponent here, okay? Uh, I have a part, you can see part of it here. Uh, we get it down. Go ahead and pause the video. In general, this is what all the problems are going to come down to in part one, okay? As long as you have uh, an x in the numerator, this will solve pretty much all your problems, okay? Anything with an odd exponent for x to the first, x to the third, x to the fifth, x to the seventh, if the, positive co if the coefficient is positive, it's going to start low and high, okay? It flips if it's negative. It starts high, ends low, ends at negative infinity, Starts at positive infinity. If you want to go, start from finish. Okay, even exponents, right? Think about x squared. It's a parabola. Well, that's what this is. As x goes to negative infinity, this is positive infinity. As x goes to positive infinity, this is also positive infinity. But if you think about negative x squared, that's just the same graph flipped upside down. Same thing here. As x goes to negative infinity, this goes to negative infinity. As this goes to positive infinity, this goes to negative infinity. Okay. If you have this chart, you can pretty much get uh, the first half of this lesson pretty easily, okay? It just comes down to simplifying your leading terms, okay? Let's look at example two. 
So example two, I've got 5x to the 7th plus yada yada. I'm looking for end behavior. I don't really care. Okay? I need to look for the simplified version of that over that. So 5x to the 7th over negative 2x to the 3rd. Okay? Again, in these part one problems, it's just going to end up that these x's will cancel out these x's. You're going to have an x in the numerator for part one for all of these problems. Okay, so I'm going to simplify this. This is going to be 5x to the fourth over negative 2. Okay, now here's where some people might get confused. Exponent, clearly it's even, right? The coefficient, think to yourself, is this coefficient going to be positive or negative? Right? I got 5 here. It looks positive. It's not positive. Okay? The reason that's not positive is because this is negative, right? This is the same thing as writing negative 5 halves times x to the fourth, okay? So if one of these is negative, they're both negative, okay? So this would be a negative uh, coefficient. I have, an even, uh, I have an even exponent. So eventually it's going to end up looking something like that, okay? Check your chart if you need to, right? As x goes to negative infinity, so in this case, f of x goes to negative infinity as x goes to negative infinity. f of x goes to negative infinity also weird, uh, as x goes to positive infinity, right? Think about it like a graph. As x goes to positive infinity, this goes to negative infinity. As x goes to negative infinity, this also goes to negative infinity, right? If you need to look at the chart, that's fine. All right, uh, let's look at one more example, and that'll be the end of part one notes. Okay, try this one out on your own, see if you can figure it out. Try this one out on your own, see if you can figure it out. Okay, pause the video, and go ahead and start. Okay, so again, only care about the leading terms. Only care about the leading terms. So I'm only focusing on negative. 3x to the 6th over negative 20x to the 3rd, okay? 3x's cancel out 3x's, so this becomes negative 3x to the 3rd over negative 20, okay? Exponent is clearly odd, okay? Coefficient, is it positive or negative? Negative 3 over negative 20, right? Negative 3 over negative 20, a negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive, right? So this is really 3 over 20 x to the third. I got a positive number. I got an odd exponent. So I know it's, some, it's going to end up looking something like that, right? As x goes to negative infinity, f of x goes to negative infinity. As x goes to positive infinity, f of x goes to positive infinity, okay? So just make sure. Uh, it's going to be a drop-down list on Khan Academy when we eventually do the thing, the uh, assignment with this. Uh, make sure you guys pay attention to uh, which drop-down is where, right? I, almost, I think in all of them, this one's first, so my answer would be negative infinity, positive infinity, right? Mm -hmm. It always starts at, as x goes to negative infinity first, so make sure you do the left side first, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, this is part one. Uh, part two will uh, be right after this, okay?